Today, back in solo queue, I actually enjoyed playing Marksman the last time, so I think we're gonna try to play a Marksman again this time. Just not sure which Marksman we're gonna pick, so let's take a look. And we get a lot of options, of course, but I feel like I wanna play this guy because I can't remember the last time we played him. And I don't see him a lot in my game, so that kinda makes me curious if he's still strong in the meta right now or not. And now that we are in the game, of course, we are going to take Clint over to the top lane where the gold lane is. And our first task is to check out who we'll be going up against because I wasn't looking in the loading screen. Okay, it's 1-1. This should be fun. And it should be pretty easy for us since we don't have a lot of uh, skills that we need to aim. We just need to avoid doing stupid stuff like letting her break all of our weaknesses, which I'm doing right now. But of course you know I'm doing it just to demonstrate a good example of a bad example. And I'm sure you believe me, right? Just like this one one believes that she can take me down if she uses barrier. Okay, maybe she can. But if I run away like a chicken and wait for it to disappear, then it's checkmate. Whoa, buddy, Franco Sama, what happened to you? Okay, don't fight Wan Wan all alone. Because that's my thing, and she's in that bush, isn't she? I'm just not sure which one. Okay, this one. Oh crap, she's really good with that skill 1, huh? And she's also level 4, so this might mean that I'm not dead because she doesn't have any damage yet. So let's say goodbye to Wan Wan because I'm going back to base. That stupid Aegis spell with its low cooldown. I gotta say, that battle spell is really good if you want to bait your enemies into thinking that they can take you 1v1. Unfortunately, I want to take you 2 versus 1 or even 3 versus 1 or 4 versus 1 because Lunox was actually on her way here. God, you guys are brutal. But you did a good job, team, because I really wanted to get some more gold and having this tower wide open like this really does the trick. Look at that, 300 gold just by standing here and hitting that tower like an idiot. An idiot who needs to get out of here now because I can see the look in Wan Wan's eyes. I can see that it's burning with a desire for revenge. A revenge that I'm sure will involve using her Aegis Shield barrier again like she did right now. Too bad for you, I still have enough HP to deal with that bull. I noticed that our team might need our help in the bot lane because they've been fighting a war there since 1969. But as a marksman, we gotta focus on our goal, even if it means not enjoying turtle soup from time to time. If we take down this tower, it's all gonna be worth it. And also, Wan Wan is here to defend her uh, tower, her invisible tower, because I don't see any towers anymore, like I don't see any Wan Wans anymore. And now that we have taken down the tower the top lane, I'm free to do whatever I like. If I want to help in the mid lane, that's what I will do. Maybe we can even take down this tower. There are three of us here. And we did. The enemies didn't even try to push us back or defend the tower and I don't see them in the map. I wonder where they are. They're probably in the bush somewhere. I just don't know which bush. Meanwhile, back in the top lane, Wan Wan has broken my backside again. She always, uh, she always does that and she's pretty good at that. But all we gotta do is not fight her head on. If she breaks our back, then we go away. Okay, that still didn't work, but she still doesn't have enough damage to take me down with one ult. Oh, that's why she uh, had to buy Wind of Nature early game. It's like she's traumatized and scared of taking physical damage. I wonder why. Um, guys, could you take the team fight here because uh, you're looking like idiots there fighting over nothing. The turtle's on the other side. But I guess I can join you guys because I too enjoy securing our kills. Okay, so we're really forgetting about the turtles. Like, screw the turtle. Who wants turtle soup anyway if we can take down this tower? Unfortunately, we don't have minions and I have a magical midget chasing after me. Luckily, we have Flicker, but the fight is not over and we have a kill here we need to secure, but Lunox says no. So I guess I'll just settle for taking the enemy's red while they're still busy fighting our teammates. Oh crap, Tigreal's here, but I already put in a lot of work into getting that HP of this red buff very low. So this is not a time to give up. But since you guys already reset the buff's HP, then it's time for me to say bye-bye. Sorry about that, Ricky. What if we do Lord instead? You know what? You do Lord, I will do Tigreal. And by do, I mean I will secure him as an objective, nothing else. Wait, what? We got a double kill? We took down 1-1 as well? 
Dang, we're pretty lucky there, right, Mr. Chicken? Oh yeah, we were uh, interrupted. We were trying to take Lord earlier, so why don't we finish this job so that we can uh, go somewhere else? I mean, it would be bad if this tower takes uh, damage or gets a scratch. I've taken care of it like my own baby ever since the start of the game. You can even ask Mr. Krabs. He was witness to it all. Actually, I killed the witness, didn't I? There's the Lord that we got from earlier. Good job. Are you guys having fun out here? I hope you don't mind if I join this party that you're having here. Oh crap. He has immortality and that guy got secured by Lunox again. Wow, she's really good at that thing I want to be good at. What about you, Harley? Do you want to take some damage? Crap, too late. But that only means that this tower is open now if the enemies are backing off. So let's take it down and get out of here because the entire enemy team is after our butt. What happened to our teammates? But that is fine. I'm sure that we can secure a couple of kills if we just uh, stay back and... Um, wait a minute. They have an aloe card? I must be imagining things because there's no way that it's already 10 minutes and it's the first time that I saw him. Meanwhile, we successfully got the blue buff and the Stigro is charging in. That only means he has backup. But since he doesn't like using his ult on us, then we're just gonna have to free hit so that we can be successful in securing our kills. Okay, I didn't expect I'd secure that because Lunox is here and she's pretty good at uh, securing kills. You don't believe me? Let's uh, try it out on this export. Pretty low, am I right? And just one more hit and Lunox shows her supremacy again in securing the kills. What about this one one that I can probably not secure? Can't, uh, it has to be one shot. It can't be anything else. Oh crap, actually the game's about to end and uh, we weren't able to take a proper pose. I'm just there in the corner. Tis my fault for getting too distracted in trying to secure kills away from Lunox, but in the end, we couldn't get a proper victory selfie. But we got MVP anyway, so I'm not sure how we did. I didn't think we uh, popped off. But we did give our team 10 assists, so that's why, because we couldn't finish our kills, huh? But guys, that's it for this video. My name is Shin Mentagazo. I really do hope that you're taking care of yourself, staying safe, and staying healthy. Thank you so much for watching this video. Check out the previous ones for the many and different heroes we played in the past. Secure that like button if you enjoyed this one. Subscribe for more of these in the future. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.